All right, so you know that in math, there's obviously there's numbers, there's symbols, but there's also words and phrases that you can come across when you get to stuff like word problems, and you'll be asked to create what are called equations and expressions. An expression is really just an equation without the equal sign. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of information about how you can put those words and phrases together to help solve the problem. Let's say for example, you have a word or phrase that says plus or more than. Well, that means you're gonna be adding. So if you see two more than X, for example, that means you have two plus X. If you see a word or phrase minus or less than, that means you're gonna be subtracting. So five less than r is the same thing as r minus five. If you see the words times or multiply, you guessed it, you're gonna be multiplying. So let's say you see three times the desk. That means you have three times d or three dot d or even something as simple as 3d. Let's say you see the word twice. You're doing something twice. That means you're doing something two times. So you're going to want to multiply it by two. Another thing you might see is you might see the word of somewhere. Just a little hint. If you see the word of in math, it means multiply as well. If you see the phrase or the words divided by, divided into, it means you're going to be dividing. So if you see a number divided into four, means you're gonna have that number, let's say you wanna call it x, x divided by four. If you see the words is or equals, those two things mean the same thing. They mean you're gonna have an equal sign. So if you see something like x plus three is 18, it means you have x plus three equals 18. So hopefully this will help you out when you get to that word problem and you're trying to figure out what to do to create your equation or your expression. Good luck. Your education will add up when you visit us at GEDS.com. For future tips and videos, be sure to subscribe and follow.